Hi everybody and welcome to EV Unite where we discuss the latest news and tech related to electric vehicles and charging. In this episode we will be taking a look at the Tesla keycard. So let's get started. Although it may look like one, this is not a credit or debit card. Let's rewind the clock and see how we have arrived at the Tesla keycard. Car keys have evolved quite a bit over the years. The first car keys were standard internal cut metal keys similar to what you might use to lock the front door of your house. Later on, metal keys were upgraded with more comfortable plastic casings and double sided cuts were added to give the user the ability to insert the key in either direction. In the late 80s, the first big innovation in car keys was introduced by Cadillac when they added the ability to lock and unlock doors with remote entry. This allowed the user to lock and unlock their vehicle from a distance while either approaching or walking away from the car. It was a wild success and was quickly adopted by automakers in many shapes and forms over the following years. Then, in the early 2000s, we saw the rise of proximity keys, giving car drivers the ability to unlock their car by simply standing near the driver's door. This technology lasted nearly 20 years, but in typical Tesla fashion, they have innovated to take a slowly progressing technology to advance it with a giant leap forward. In 2018, Tesla introduced the ability to open your car using your smartphone. Similar to a proximity car key, the user's phone is able to unlock the car via Bluetooth when it is within a certain proximity of the sensor. This essentially eliminates the need for a car key altogether. But what about when your phone battery dies? That is where the Tesla keycard comes into play. The Tesla keycard is small, lightweight, slim, and can easily be stored in any standard wallet. Please note that it is only currently available for the Model 3 and Model Y. As described on the Tesla Shop website, key cards are convenient for when your phone is not accessible, out of battery, or if someone else needs temporary access such as a valet. To lock or unlock, tap your key card on the center of the pillar to the right of the driver's window. To start your Model 3 or Model Y, tap your key card behind the cup holders and place your foot on the brake pedal to start. One thing that should be noted is that access to your vehicle cannot be granted from the passenger side of the car. Ultimately, the Tesla keycard is there to give Tesla owners peace of mind and the ability to give others temporary access to the vehicle. At only $25, it is a must-have accessory. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you found any value in this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. Also, if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to get your feedback so we can make sure to provide the best content to you as possible. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again soon.